Mexican green weed was what we started smoking. Right. I got to say that average was maybe 15 then, like the strongest. And then there's weeds now that I buy that are 21%. That they take me to the fucking mountain. <laughs> but that 28 and above and a bong, you do. You know what's wild? Is that like Cosby was like, you know, putting shit in there, you know, drugging people and fucking, You're right? stuttering, you're mumbling, you fucking can't focus. Joe Exotic was drugging dudes and fucking them. But what is, how does this even affect your life? But cocaine don't make you gay, bro. Meth is that good. Yeah, you know, you're, that you're, documentary you're, you're, that came out about the guy who, like, fucked the whole family. I love those for six minutes. They were Mormon. The big fucking deal. I don't know, dude. It's fucking bullshit. Dude. No matter if fucking Hitler makes a comeback and he's president. Dude. You all got to get up and go to work every morning. Interesting. I love going into those foxholes late at night, stoned to the gills. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I, yeah, maybe I got it. I, I like that feeling at night when I listen to music. What was it? Because all I was, was doing it? was dry humping this girl. But that's a hell of a drug. It was half on drugs, and she had to suck the guy's dick. And the most vivid picture I remember is when she took the mayonnaise with the bread. Like, she was sucking this guy's dick. The guy's dick had been beat up. <laughs> and she took mayonnaise, Miracle Whip. That's why I never liked Miracle Whip. She put it on the bread and made a dick sandwich and put it into his dick. <laughs> and it was like me and three other 12-year-olds. Dog, we almost had a heart attack. Yeah, what do, you think, what do you think changes? What do you think doesn't recover? But then we figured out, fuck, if they're going to watch this after three, why don't we play hooky from 12 to three? Like, oh, it's a home game now. No mom wants to hear their son getting laid. The first girl you brought over the house actually bothered your mother. Like you are the stupidest guy with money I've ever heard in my entire life. Yeah, you're a fucking scumbag just to have something else. I really want to do this, and if I love this enough, I'll find a way to make money. That's all I was doing. We weren't having sex. I think I sucked the tits one time. <laughs> you know, we weren't having sex. Dude. We were just making out and dry humping. We just said the truth. Obviously, in a funny way, it's five minutes jam-packed of fucking laser beams. <laughs> Oh, man. you see, that's mag magnificent. Thank you so much. Can you imagine getting a teacher to blow your horn when you're um, in high school on a boat with a bikini? Now you take this chick to the prom and she's sucking your dick, dude. crying. You know what I'm saying? Like I've never done this before. You know what I'm saying? Like reluctant. It's just YouTube clips. The it's kid's just... never gonna get his dick sucked like that again. Can you imagine? Is he senile? Why don't we play hooky from twelve to three? And we could dry up for three hours, and nobody will know your grandmother works. My mother's definitely not coming home. Bro, I appreciate your support. You're great. You're sweet. You have to control it. You still have to have a life. Not going. You're not saying that at all. Shut your fucking mouth. And I'm just sitting here. I'm going, is nobody fucking talking about this? You keep your mouth shut. I'll call my attorney later. Hey, bro, I appreciate your support. You're great. You're sweet. If there was a rape kit, it's very fucking tough. Right? This is going to be very interesting, bro.